G'day guys, welcome back. Look what I've got. It's a massive mermaid. Now, you guys have been asking me for a mermaid and a really nice mermaid for a long time. So I finally, finally got around to it. And you know me, I like them big because there's, there's little mermaid molds out there already. So there was no point me doing a little mermaid. So we've got a big mermaid. Look how thick it is. <laughs> and it's, it's really heavy. <laughs> so, oh, so excited. I'm going to pour in this today. I am, I am. I am going to use my favorite holographic glitters from Let's Resin. Um, I'll link them in the description for you. And as usual, my favorite colors are the aqua blue, the silver, and the purple. There's also a pink, a gold, and a black in there in the pack, but I'm just going to use these three. So I thought I would do silver for the tail and silver for her little shell bra there. It's so cute! <laughs> um, her hands are folded like us in, in front of her and she's holding a little shell in there. Um, she's got long flowing hair that I'm going to do in this amazing gold. Her skin is going to be the Pearl X uh, Micro Pearl. It's just like a creamy sort of a colour. And she's also got some flowers in her hair. So it's going to take me a little time to dust everything. Um, anyway, I'll get started. So it's going to take me a little way, a little time to dust everything, but I'm going to do it. Um, and then, because she's got like this pale skin, I'm not going to fill it with black as I always use, as I, you know, I usually do. I'm going to fill it with white. So it is going to be an opaque white. So hopefully these holographic glitters will still, you know, show up because. The holographics usually work much better on a dark background, but yeah, because I don't want black over white skin, um, I think it'll look like maybe like go grey or something. So I'm going to do white, but we should still get we should still get some holographic sort of effects happening. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to make sure that because it's quite a deep mold, I'm going to make sure that you go right up here into the the sides of the tail you can see already we're getting an amazing sort of holographic effect there so I'm going to do that in the silver as well um, I'll just put that there for a minute the the shell bra will be in in the silver as well um, and then her gorgeous flowing hair is going to be in this in this gold. Look at that. <gasps> Isn't that just gorgeous? Got some silver in there. Still, we have to clean that out. So that's going to be gold. That's going to be gold. Just put it on there for now. And um, see up here she's got scales and then down here she's got scales as well so I'm going to use my my purple and my teal to do that um, so I'm just going to basically mark out where I want everything and then I'm going to put you on fast forward and play some music while I do it because it's going to take a long time right so what I thought I would do is I'm going to do this purple kind of down the center like so down the center of her body a little bit wider here where it's a bit wider like so clean that brush off and then I'm going to use the the teal aqua blue along the the sides there so that's going to be in the blue and then the same here 
make sure you go up the sides as well. So that'll be the blue. Um, I'm going to get a different brush to do the white, <laughs> the skin, because I don't want blue skin. Make sure it's clean. Clean brush. Yep. So I think what I should probably do is, is um, actually do the skin first. Because knowing me, I'm going to spray other colours onto it. Doesn't really matter if I spray other colours over, you know, the holographics, but I, I don't really want to spray other colours over the the skin. So I'm going to be dusting dusting her body. There's another arm here. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm I'm not going to worry about putting blue for eyes and red for mouth and. Oh, maybe I can. Actually, I've got a marker. Would a marker? I might get my markers out and do that. Rather, or otherwise, you've got to paint them later. So anyway, there's the arm that goes down there. And there's a shoulder. So anyway, I'm not going to bore you with me doing this whole thing because it's going to take me a little bit of time. But um. Yeah, I'll just put some music on in the studio and you won't hear it, but I'll play my music while I'm doing this. You can listen to the, the video music and um, I'll catch up with you when I'm done. all done now when I was going I realized or when I was dusting I realized that she's got like this these leaves around her waist so I went and grabbed my green chameleon powder and then I thought well things I've got some green down there I'd like to balance it I like to balance my colors so then I put some green on these little flowers up here in the hair you know you could take your time and do each flower a different color you could do them pink and red and orange and whatever but I just thought look I, I just want to get this done so I did them I did them green um, with her necklace and the little shell that she's holding um, I did those in my copper marker and then I did her lips and her eyes with my red and blue markers. I look again, I don't know whether that's a good idea or not. You could have, you know, if you if you're good at drawing or painting, you could draw them or paint them on after you've demolded. But for me, I like to have I like them there when I demold. So they're there. And then I can always touch them up later. So there we go. Um, I've mixed up a big cup of white resin. Um, I'm using the river resin because I'm just going to pop you back up here because it's quite deep it's quite big so we do need to have you know a deep pour resin so it's going to take a couple of days to set up that's okay um, and I've just popped some white pigment paste into it I mixed up about 300 grams so about 10 ounces it's probably going to be way too much but oh 
I'll find something else to do with it. I didn't want to get, you know, halfway and then not have enough. So, all right, where will I start? Where will I start? Let's, let's start in the middle. Now, I'm just going to let the resin run into the hands because you get less bubbles when the resin flows in and makes its own way rather than you pouring up and down the mold. So you can see there, it's just running in, making its own way. And I, I just feel that that's a better way of pouring because it's going to go into all the little nooks and crannies, push the air out as it pushes its way along, as it cascades down those beautiful golden locks. Whichever colour powder hits the mould first is what you're going to see when you unmould. So if you've gone over a little bit and you know your white goes over the gold or the green goes over the gold, it probably won't matter too much. Oh gosh, look at this. I'm going to use it all up almost. Let's just let that settle for a bit. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that was a good guesstimate. Now you're going to make sure that your table is really level which mine doesn't look as if it is at the moment because it's fuller here than it is down there. So I might just tip it a bit. Not the mold, I'll just put a um, pop stick under the end of my table. I'll just lift, because I've got, I've, this is a board that I use. So I'm just gonna pop that little pop stick under there. So yeah, just make sure before you go filling your mold that everything's level. You don't want to fill it up and then realize, ah, oh, it's all running down off the edge. So just be careful. Alrighty. Um, look at this. This is pretty perfect. This is pretty perfect. Oh, I'm going to be so excited to unmold this. I'm not going to sleep for the next two nights. I'm going to be too excited. All right. Okay. So that's pretty much all I'm going to do. Um, might put another little bit of paper under this end here because it's a little bit higher there than it is there but the um the tail's quite deep like it's quite a deep mold oh that's what i was going to do measure it for you that's what i was going to do it's 35 centimeters long the finished piece oh, i'm sticking my finger in it should have done this before i poured resin in it shouldn't i um just under 14 inches about 35 centimeters by about oh, what do we got there 15 six six inches or something like that yeah wide so it's a decent size mold so yeah I think that took about 320 grams maybe 11 ounces something like that all right I'm not going to touch it <laughs> I may just spray the top with some alcohol um, and then I will see you in two days once this has cured. <gasps> so excited. Right, it's been two days, two long days of waiting. But it's finally, it's finally done. I thought about doing it last night and I picked it up and it was still a little bit bendy. So I thought, no, I have to leave it till the morning. So hopefully it'll come out nice and easy. There's not too many really intricate little pieces. Just Oops, a little bit of resin overflow there. <clears throat> Pop that little bit of silicone out from between the arms there. <clears throat> and we are done. Oh my gosh, it's such a heavy mould. Oh look, my blue marker's left behind. <laughs> I'll have to get some alcohol onto that and clean that off. Where am I going to put you? Where am I going to put you? Let me just put this down somewhere. There we go. All right. Are we ready? Oh, this is nerve-wracking. All right, let's just do it. Are you ready? Let's do the countdown or count up. One, two, three. Oh, she's amazing. Oh, wow, look. That is so cool. I love it. I've got the shell where it's supposed to be. I was thinking, oh, I hope I'm painting the shell right. And that's the shell there. Oh, wow. She's got the silver clamshells for her bra there. And she's got the, the pink or the purple down the center and the blue on the edges. The shimmery tail. Oh, that's so cool. 
is the side the scales go down the side as well which is really nice and there's a little there's a little fingers she's got little nails there oops I guess if you wanted to you could paint those afterwards you could paint her nails and a clam necklace there not a clam see oh my gosh starfish the only thing is that blues kind of run a little bit but I can I can fix that up I can touch that up and then I decided just to do the green flowers in her hair but yeah you know you could go into more detail and do do those individually if you wanted I didn't get quite right with the lips <laughs> I did the bottom lip I didn't do the top lip that's fine <laughs> things like that I can touch up afterwards I probably should have just left it and touched it up afterwards but now I know for next time just to um, touch up the or draw on the facial features afterwards because I can paint on some eyebrows and paint her eyes and her lips and you can put a little bit of rouge on her cheeks and things like that so you can, you can yeah, it's probably easier or better just to paint the details of her face afterwards. But look, look how huge it is. Now, you can put a little hanger on that and uh, just glue it on and hang it on your wall. Or you could just stand her up somewhere in your in your lounge room, in your living room, have her on display. Oh, it's worked really well. Happy with it. I'm happy with my colour choices. That um, just pale sort of creamy colour for her arms and her face. And then we've got that golden flowing hair oh I just love it love it love it love it and that's the other side of her let me know what you think you guys wow I love it oh I'm so excited I'm so happy it's turned out right I can go and have my coffee now because I haven't had it yet I was too excited to come out to the studio oh my gosh all right so let me know what you think of her um I will link the mold towards the end of the video well no I'll, I'll link the link the mold in the description um, it is a heavy mold it is an expensive mold so it may not be for everybody but um, yeah like I said there's lots of small mermaid molds out there but if you want a big really detailed mold this will probably be muchly appreciated by those that have been asking for it so hopefully you will love it as much as I do all right Thank you so much for watching and I'm um, definitely going to do this mermaid again. Let me know what other colours I could use. I've sort of gone for traditional but there's so many other colours I could do. Alright, got to go, got to have my coffee. Alright, take care everyone. Love you. Bye for now.